Okay, so first of all, with this bizarre Panarin story, good for the New York Rangers and their organization for backing their star player, not throwing him under the bus, and not giving into this bullshit cancel culture climate that has been developed. So good for the Rangers. As far as the actual story goes, it is alleged that Panarin, uh, when he was 19 years old, assaulted an 18-year-old woman while he was playing in the KHL. Is it true? At this point, it's really, really hard to say. Of course it could be, right? I mean, we all do stupid things when we're 19. Uh, some people are really stupid. And uh, we all know that Russians are, are pretty good at covering up scandals and sweeping things under the rug, especially when it comes to their celebrities. So it could very well be true. But I think at this point, uh, the majority of the hockey community is leaning towards it not being true uh, and it being a fabrication installed by the Russian deep state led by Vladimir Putin, who is a Caps fan, by the way, to shut up Artemi Panarin, who has become this mega Russian superstar with a, with a giant platform, and he's speaking out against Putin and supporting the opposition on his platform. Can't do that. Can't do that. It's not just in North America that we've lost our freedom of speech. They've lost it across the pond, too. That's a whole other conversation. But anyways, it's bullshit. This KHL coach uh, that is coming forward with these allegations coached Panarin in the KHL 10 years ago. And apparently when they were, when he was coaching him, he used to tell Panarin, Hey, like you got to tone it down with, with the, with the Putin slander. Cause Panarin has been doing this forever. He says, you can't be doing this. You got to tone it down. Like, do you know, do you know who Putin's best friend is? It's the angel of death. Like shut up. Panarin wouldn't listen. And now here we are all these years later and the allegations came out. Now my insider Smello made an interesting point to me. He said, you know what, Frank, it's possible that this KHL coach is getting blackmailed uh, by the Russian mob right now. So maybe he owes him money or he got in trouble or whatever. And he said, hold on, wait a second. To, to, to square things off, I got a juicy tidbit for you about a, a famous Russian hockey player. So it's possible that that's how this story came out. Who knows? Um, my insider Smello also mentioned me, which I thought was interesting, that apparently Radulov liked Panarin's Instagram post and then unliked it when this shitstorm happened. So anyways, we will see. What does this mean for the New York Rangers? Maybe Alexis Lafreniere finally gets some top six minutes, right? Um, would anybody be totally shocked if Panarin did not return to the Rangers at all this year? Just considering how serious, like the, like the fact that his family is being threatened and God knows what else is happening behind the scenes. If he didn't come back, I wouldn't be totally shocked. RIP to anyone that has been in fantasy, that would suck. But I, I think it is a possibility at this point. Uh, the Rangers aren't going anywhere anyways, so you know why take any chances or whatever. What is going to be shitty if that if that happens is that means that the Rangers are going to get another top five pick because they're going to be even worse, and that would suck. So let's hope that that's not the case in Panarin, <laughs> and he does come back. Anyways, to conclude, don't fuck with Vladimir Putin. Be careful. And um, keep in mind that he also, also, that he once scored eight points in an exhibition game against retired NHL, KHL stars. He could have been better than Gretzky. If he isn't already, right? Anyways, leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. And thanks for watching.